Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kaf Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We're so happy you've joined us. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. So, who's up for a pantry challenge? Now, I know I haven't given any notice of this pantry challenge, and that was deliberate on my part. Do you remember earlier this year in May, June, we did a pantry challenge, you know, sort of an emergency practice run, and we had to live on just what we had on hand without buying a thing? And do you remember how so many of you thought it was wonderful and you wanted to do it again? And I said, well, let's do it again, but I won't give you any notice. We're doing it again, folks. So to make it interesting, there's a thing on the interwebs that's going around and it's called shelf timber. Now, it's for the month of September when you eat just what you have on hand in the pantry, the fridge, the freezer and the garden. It's a pantry challenge with a catchy name because it seems that, you know, these days if something doesn't have a catchy name or a fancy meme, no one can just understand it. Now, I know this doesn't apply to you. You're more than able to get the details and understand what to do when we say pantry challenge. Anyway, today is the 1st of September. So we are starting our spontaneous pantry challenge. What you have in your pantry, in your fridge, your freezer, your garden today is what you live on for the month. That's it. Same rules as before, and I'll link to that video below. Um, use nothing you buy. Now, notice I said not to use what you buy, but do buy it because right now I don't think it is wise to run the pantry down. So as you use something, add it to the shopping list and get it like you normally would. Just don't put it in the pantry to use during shelf timber. You'll finish this challenge with your pantry as stocked as it would normally be. It won't be run down. Now, I know there are those who are thinking that, you know, it doesn't really matter, that the shortages are a thing of the past, that supply chain is fine, the drought is over, people can move around again, whatever. So there is no need to be concerned about the pantry and keeping it stocked. They're wrong. Now, jump on me if you will, but this food crisis isn't over by a long shot. So don't stop stocking your pantry. Don't stop being wise and don't stop looking ahead and preparing for what is coming. Don't stop growing food and don't stop preserving it. I'm just saying, I'm actually just stressing that you really can't afford to stop preparing and filling your pantry. Now I'm going to say it again. If anything I say scares you, ask yourself why. Chances are you know why. It's because you're not as prepared as you know you should be. You're wasting time doing other things, you don't want to spend the money, whatever. I'm not scaremongering. If you're scared, there is a reason and only you know it and only you can overcome it. Anyway, let's get back to shelf timber. <clears throat> if you have an ingredients-based pantry, you are set. Let me just grab a drink, guys. You have options. You'll be able to eat well from your pantry and most likely you won't even notice that you're taking part in shelf timber and in this spontaneous cat's off on a rant challenge. I know some of you came up with some amazing new recipes and meal ideas during our last challenge, so drag them out. Try them again. Perhaps you'll create even more delicious meals. You're just using what you have already in your pantry. Now, if you have a packet and can style pantry, you may need to get more creative and look up recipes to use those packets and cans you could get very bored with what you're eating before too long and food fatigue is a real thing we are very spoilt especially in australia with the variety of foods we have 
So when we have to eat something more than once, we get a bit bored. But either way, go and do a pantry inventory. And this includes your fridge and freezer and garden. Make sure you know what you have on hand. Then get your meal plan out and allocate the ingredients, the packets, the cans, whatever, to each meal. If you need to, get all those recipe books out and go through them for inspiration. There's a reason we keep them. You know, you'll find millions of ways to use, uh, what have I got here, cream of chicken soup or uh, tuna or baked beans or tinned fruit or tinned tomatoes. Cake mixes can be turned into cakes. They can be turned into muffins, breads, crumble toppings, um, pancakes. Get inventive. Do some recipe hunting and see what you can come up with. The idea of this challenge is to use up what you have in your pantry to rotate that stock and clean it out. It's an opportunity to use up the odd things lurking on the shelf, things that seemed like a good idea or were really, really cheap or they were an ingredient in a recipe that you're not ever going to make again. It's an opportunity to learn how you will cope when all you have is your pantry. I know you can do it. So if you're in, let me know in the comments below. Now, before I go, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. It helps, it helps our channel grow and be recognised more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy, mixed-up world. And please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. If you start your comment with shelf timber, I will know that you have watched right to the very end of this video. That helps me with my planning. Now I read all comments and I do my best to answer each one, especially if there is a question. So if you've got a question, pop it in the comments. Remember shelf timber, then your question. Have a great day, everyone, and happy cheap skating. I will be back very soon with another video from the Cheap Skates Club.